history will judge us by the difference we make in everyday life of children, said Nelson Mandela. Greetings, I am Rina Idrizi and I come from North Macedonia. The other day, I saw some children in front of a hotel. They did not speak our language. I thought they were tourists, but I was wrong, so wrong. They were children who have lost everything, ran away because of fear, looking for a safe place. Only then I understood the sadness in their eyes. Since 1989, 196 states signed up to the UN Convention of Children's Rights. 30 years later, children continue to be killed, hurt and shocked by violence. They've seen things no child should ever see. Millions have lost their homes, friends and families. Every minute, 55 children have left Ukraine since the start of the war. 30 years later, nearly half a billion children live in conflict zones. More than 25 children have been killed every day in the past 10 years. More than half a million babies have died because of war. 300 babies a day. It's about time we raise our voice and say, war on children must stop. Let's speak on behalf of the voiceless, because tomorrow it could be us. If one child is in danger, we're all in danger. These 196 countries must agree to create safe zones and corridors for children in all war-affected countries. Zones that will prevent children to be used as shield or a target. Above all, they must find a way to stop the war on children. From the hometown of Mother Teresa, world leaders, you do not have the right to sacrifice the future for the present. Act now! Stop the war on children! Are we asking too much?